Hello again, gang. Black Knight here, and I've been letting myself be guided by Rockstar's attempts at mind control, which some people would call marketing. That's right, there's been some sales going on. I, I ended up buying myself, and I wasn't going to do this, I ended up buying myself an underground facility. Simply because, well, there was one really, really close to my house up in Polito Bay, and we're talking, this is just really expensive parking for the most part. I mean, that's really how I'm going to use it. I don't really plan on doing the heists because, you know, it's just so hard. My playing style is when do I have the time to really dedicate myself to, uh, to doing heists? You really have to invest yourself into some time because you're doing this with other people and you don't want to waste their time. And I hate to say, oh, well, you know, sorry guys, we're three quarters of the way through a heist and I got to go, you know, chase after the kids or have dinner or go to work or go to bed, you know, that kind of thing. So, but it is, you know, another place where you could park cars and then you can have a place to get your special vehicles that only go inside the facility. And it's on, it was on sale. So, you know, on sale. Hey, obviously we control the horizontal, we control the vertical, we control how you spend your money. It's on sale. And then shortly, you know, I was going to do this video and then other things have gone on. I haven't really... You know, I recorded the stuff, didn't do the voiceover, so then there were more sales! So now I've got a security room for the uh, facility. Okay, you own the and facility. I've got an office for if my you've second got a crew, character get them together, Jack head over there and come down to the presentation room. I've got that someone to introduce like, you to. He's richer rough. than God, and, and he needs a team to break down the toughest totally security walls in the country. Sure. So, so of course, he called some bank robbers. 500000 or something cheaper just to get the place next door. He can walk across the street. How you doing? Listen. I'm Into the facility, I put some of my most think, favorite cars that don't really get anyway, driven around downtown in much anymore so because really the only thing you can drive around in free mode is something score, heavily but, armored. Nah, it's you know, very, anymore. very mission purpose kind of thing. Personally, the vigilante gets around downtown. Pole and, pole because I don't know any um, these now that I have an upgraded insurgent, pick up my old insurgents kind of, you know, the white elephant's obsolete now. It's not as fast as the pickup, it's not as heavily armored as the pickup. And so I set the pickup up with uh, the minimal armor kind of thing to it, the no armor option, so that I can still shoot out the windows because I don't often have somebody in the upper gun. I'm planning on getting another insurgent at some point with the full armor option when I research it, because that's, well, we, you know that whole debacle, and it just takes forever to research everything and so much money. But you know, there's certain cars that I really, really like. I thought, you know, if I had an underground bunker, I would put, you know, the most important cars. I've got my, my Entity XF, which is obsolete. Again, another obsolete race car for the most part, but I do like it. So that's, you know, it's such a history with me. So I have that part next to the Insurgent, and I've got all my main racing cars are going to be there. That's, that's, uh, that's the kind of the secret underground lair for the cars that I bring out only into for racing. I mean, I don't really cruise around town in the RE7B, you know what I mean? It's a, it, it's a, not a, an unfun thing to do, but I just don't use those cars anywhere except in races. So I put my, my true racing cars in there. It's like the under, secret underground base of Black Knight Racing here, of base racing. And I fired up the bunker again. I'm trying to get to do, you know, speaking of, you know, having to do research. I'm doing more research because they had a, a bonus week on research. I finally figured out, you know, we might as well just leave this run. It's going to take forever to get through all this stuff. So I'm just gonna have to keep playing and periodically buying supplies. Cause you know what? It's actually cheaper to buy the supplies. Cause you go through so much more in ammunition and, and failure trying to, to resupply the thing. Just, just buy the supplies is what I, I end up doing. At least that's how it is for me. And while I did do a lot of idling while it was like at a 25% accelerated rate, that's where you just sit in your office or whatever and watch television and then you can, the stuff continues. You lose so much money that way because it's, it's burning through stuff every day for pay your staff and to do all the, you know, to pay for the supplies. So what I'm finding is that I can, I'm only going to really, you know, I'm only going to use my main character when I'm making money on it. And that's, you know, that's what will advance the, the research. And for the most part, if I'm doing racing or something like that, if, I, if I'm doing CEO stuff, if I'm doing stuff that only my, my CEO in pajamas can do, then I'll probably be on the main character. But if I'm doing racing, uh, I might switch that over strictly to uh, Rusty Jack, because the nice thing is, is that when I'm on my second character, I don't get charged for all the stuff that I normally get charged, you know, for the bunker, for the facility, for the hangar, I mean, all this kind of stuff. 
you, you save so much money having a, a secondary character that doesn't have a lot going on. Now, he does have an office now, so that's, that's going to that's gonna decrease that. But I think I'm still underneath the, the deal where the, the $2,000 daily uh, good behavior bonus will cover everything. So I, I'm okay with that. I've kind of come to the conclusion that stuff like, you know, the import-export uh, workload, you know, the, the, the special cargo, special vehicle cargo, certainly the gun running and the, uh, the, uh, the smuggling stuff, that's all fun to do, and if you feel like role-playing it and doing it, then you, you doing? do that. But uh, if you want to make money, the best way to do it is racing or mission. That's think, the, the only way that you're... you're there's no money anyway, at risk. I got a request you know, through the ether, so races, to speak. Someone's you're, looking you're, you're, for a crew to take can a lose score, a lot of money but... But I mean, as far as everything else, you can lose so much money just for the ammunition and failure and, you know, general risk and people trolling you in the public sessions. I mean, I know import-export should be still the number one way of cranking out cash. You can just, you know, do that a couple of times, you get $100,000, no, you get $80,000 if everything goes absolutely perfectly well. And that's really very good. But sometimes it seems like I'll do three or four of those missions and I'll be behind. I mean, it, it, you can really have things go wrong. Add to that the really stupid cooldown timer, which I understand. You, you really, in real life, would you really be able just to sell unlimited amount of Ferraris? No. The, the cooldown timer does make sense from a logical point of view, but from a making money in the game point of view, you're probably better off racing. I tell you what, the, the, the thing I've been doing that makes a lot of money has been selling Sand Kings out of Route uh, 68. I've got Rusty Jack set up with that six car garage that's just off Route 68 that's really near where the Sand Kings spawn, and that is so easy. And you can just make, you know, 18,000 at a clip every every hour, and it's just, uh, it's just a wonderful way to make cash. And that that's something I would highly recommend. Am I still going to be the CEO in pajamas? Yeah, I'm pretty much dedicating my main character to that, but I'm, I'm probably going to be mostly doing CEO in pajamas stuff, either smuggler stuff or gun running or import-export, um, mostly when um, I'm trying to make a video. That's going to mainly be the thing, because I know I'm going to lose money on a lot of that, but then videos are still being created, which... Thanks to YouTube, I'm losing money on that. Well, not losing money, but I'm not going to be gaining a lot, of a lot more money on that now, after February 20th. I am grateful that we have been picking up uh, subscribers really kind of quickly. I'm Johnny really on the spot. Well I'll we hook you up. 25 subscribers in the last couple of weeks. And hey, guys, welcome. Thank you for coming to the channel. I feel really, it's really cool, and I'm really happy that you're here. So who knows? Maybe we'll hit that magic thousand, uh, thousand subscribers in however many hours of video watching going on but whether we do or not i'm making these videos for fun and i hope you have fun watching them i keep saying i'm going to plan on branching things out and doing other video games and getting some more stuff on the channel and then rockstar has a sale and these kind of swirly things happen in front of my eyes and then i end up having to grind on gta so that i can make sure that i can follow along with the tenants of the sale and <laughs> they have me they have me under their control. Please help me. Rockstar is controlling my mind. They're controlling my days. They're controlling my nights. Don't let this happen to you, kids. Make sure you get outside, play ball, see the sunshine, go for a walk, or at least play another game. Yeah, on that note, yeah, I don't know how much is left in this video, but you can see some of the purchases I've been making, some of the things that have been going on. And parking the cars in the new uh, the new facility and just little kind of happy things that I'm saving for posterity but as far as the voiceover is concerned and any kind of wisdom you'll be gaining from the Black Knight all I can say is I am the Black Knight have a great night
it's your friend Simeon. You forget about me. Come, call me when you need something. This is your new assistant, checking in. I'm in the office, looking great by the way, and I'm ready to get started. We can get to work on the new SecuroServe special cargo network, or just sit around surfing Life Invader like everyone else. Whatever you want, boss.
I think, but I need a little time. Anyway, I got a request through the ether, so to speak. Someone's looking for a crew to take a score, but eh, I don't know anymore. I thought maybe you'd be interested. Personally, I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot barge pole because I don't know any of these people. But if you're interested, be my guest. I can tell them to come see you.
shit, it might stop a missile. That'll boost the door. This is the same stuff they use on armored cars, you know. Feeling okay. A little heartburn sometimes.
What's up, bud? How can the Bee Man be of service? It's on its way. <laughs> I'm gonna wear your face. How you doing? Every 
for the magic touch. That's a beauty right there.
Hello there. You ever think that something's like missing from your life? And I don't mean just that your wife ran off or that your best friend is too good for you. Maybe it's that you're not running an air freight operation out of your very own hangar. Go to May's Bank Foreclosures and get one. And I'll be in touch. I can't say too much because they're listening. But there's more to those hangers on May's Bank foreclosures than you might realize. You buy one, you buy me. Well, I mean, you buy a partnership with me. We'll go in together on the air freight business. Now, how's that sound, huh? Hello? Hello? You there? Oh, God damn it! I hate cold calling. This is it. This is it. Big dog about to take down some bitches. I mean, I mean no offense, man. I ain't talking about you. I ain't talking about you. That's, that's a fucked up metaphor, man. Come on in here, man. The point is, man, your boy LD is about to become King LD. Yeah. Old school OG, new wave, big dog, sneaky motherfucking king of the castle OG. That's who you looking at. And you, 
You wanted a nice in my round table. A serious night. And this here, this is some mythical motherfucking shit, man. Only in this version, the dragon drive a low rider. We bought to peel his bitch ass for it. And you know what? He ain't even no dragon. He's a bitch. And we gonna spin his beak so fast, he won't even know what hit him. You feel me? Damn, I should write these metaphors down. Your boy a straight poet. Hey, you know my boy Benny? That's my boy Benny, man. He does the best work. Benny, what's happening, pimp? That boy go hard. Hey, look, man, if you like that old school shit, that real shit, and not that new school plastic bullshit, you know I'm talking about that Los Santos classic shit, man. The most beautiful work you've ever seen, then that's why he like me. Because I'm just like that. Classical, beautiful, and imperial as a motherfucker. <laughs> man, I'm kind of lyrical, dude. Like Caesar, a writer and a fighter. Talking all this old school shit, look, the whole move relies on the fact that the ballers and the Vagos got a whole lot of OGs that care way too much about flossing their lowriders than they do about paying homage and secret respect to yours truly, you feel me? So we gonna show them bitch ass niggas the error of their ways. We gonna slowly and methodically re-educate them punk motherfuckers. I mean, who don't love a lowrider? We all love lowriders, but uh, personally, I love me more. So with that being said, we gonna confuse the fuck out they ass. And assuming that you confused right now might mean we on the right track. You confused? Whatever. Come on, just get moving. Look, lead a serious thinking to me, man. I know you can't think that fast. Years of smoking Sherman turned my brain to a Pentagon computer. Check this out. You're gonna need some of your friends. You know I love you, but you're gonna need some of your friends. Three should do. So go and hook that shit up. I'm gonna be right back. And don't you go changing on me. Don't you do that shit. <laughs> Damn, what's cracking, y'all? Man, I'm so glad you guys can make it. You know I love y'all, right? Hey, check this out, though. Is you down? I mean, speak now if ever hold your peace, man, because you be acting like a buster sometimes. Real shit. It's time, man. It's time to right some wrongs and to change history. Two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your Vago shit, and you gonna go spray some of them ballers. And the two of y'all, y'all gonna go out on your baller shit and chip some Vagos today. It's cracking. And you know we about to kick off some pretty major beef in the city right now. You know how I love beef, nigga. I'm telling you, I'm a beef terrier, nigga. I love that shit. And you know what? After all the shit is said and done, after all the mayhem, it's gonna be one nigga stepping out of all the ashes on the tin knob. And that's gonna be the tall, handsome motherfucker by the name of me on moving gang. Watch what I say. Hey, come here, man. Let me show you these hot ass whips I got for y'all. We got y'all smoking fools in luxury. They ain't have nothing like that for us when we was coming up. Now check it out. You two, y'all gonna get on your baller's tip and go find some Vagos and smoke they ass in this Chino right here. Yeah, boy, look at that fly-ass motherfucker. That's all engine. You can smoke some fools and get on. You feel me? Handle your business. And you two, I want you on your Vagos tip, right? 
and go straight down there to Covenant Ave in this buccaneer right here. This motherfucker right here got plenty of get up. Smoke them fools and get gone, you feel me? <laughs> I'm loving this shit. I'm loving this shit, man. Lamar's revolution. Leadership with a friendly face. I kind of feel like a gang-banging ass cult leader. Like Jim Jones minus the fruit punch. Kill them fools, my son. Handle that shit. I love y'all niggas. It's your boy LD tickling your eardrums, homie. I'm riding with you. Now go on, hop in the ride. What's up? How you doing? You feeling all foggle and ballersy? Ah, don't even trip, man. Don't give that shit no thought. These rides gonna do most of the work. The Vagos gonna see that ride, and they gonna think it's the ballers. The ballers gonna see that one, and they gonna think it's the Vagos. Then y'all gonna hit those dudes, and then they gonna go to war with each other. It's a simple plan, but not so simple that any of y'all dumbasses could've came up with it. Now get to it.
by the airport. Get together with the other homies and get ready to do a whole bunch of niggas bad. So, uh, y'all know how we thought, like, we go after the ballers and the Vagos ride, and the Vagos and the ballers ride, and they was gonna, like, beef and shit? Uh, it turned out that these motherfuckers actually gonna sit down like some grown-ups. Fucking assholes, man. This shit ain't good for us or my, uh, leadership goals. Get up to the meeting in the parking lot and stop them from conversating. Clap all the Vagos, all the ballers, clap everybody or we all did. So, first up, I should probably say, many can't do this on any old car. I only work on select makes and models, but the work speaks for itself. I'm always looking to expand, but this is where we're at for now. First step's getting it ready. We we'll give you the basic build, and everything else can go on top. Can't do any of the other work without that rebuild. After that, it's whatever you like. Interior, exterior, pop in the hood, work in the engine, hydros, of course, opening the trunk, Fitting it out, you'll have a low rider in no time. Sound good? Get it right from the list and come on back. We'll fix them too, but it's expensive. You don't want to get in no fender bender. Looks better than a minute ago. You 
ain't gonna regret that. How's that for detailing? Don't she look pretty?
That's what you was looking for.
Benny reupholstered your ass. Your ship's done. They go and hear that. That's in for you. Speaks for itself, don't it? She's a beast now.
That's what you was looking for. Tell me what you want. It's Ron! Joukowsky. From Sandy Shores. Look, I've got an opportunity. Don't hang up. Seriously. No, this is interesting. What says interesting opportunity like endless blue skies? Huh? Now, if you buy a hangar on Maze Bank foreclosures, we can build an air freight business together. That's right. Finally, we can earn some air miles that are worth something. Ha! Welcome to your office, sir. I'm your new executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. The recreational area slash breakout space 
Going through to the executive suite. We're all set up to grow this company with everything a modern executive could want. There's the boardroom. The panels are easily swapped, so you can install a gun locker or a safe whenever you want to. It's possible to knock through here and add some personal quarters, somewhere to lie down, take some me time, look at the Dynasty 8 site for details. Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where you'll access the Securo Serve Special Cargo Network to take this operation to another level. I'll tell you all about it when you first log in. So that's it. Take a look around, get settled in. I'm at the front desk or on the end of the phone whenever you need me. Boss, there's an update on Securo Serve. This is big. They moved into vehicle cargo. Log into the terminal and I'll talk you through it. There's the boss. Okay, I've set you up with username and password for the Securo Serve Special Cargo Network. Just hit login. Okay, you logged on? The home page should be showing you three options. Special Cargo, Vehicle Cargo, and Special Vehicle Work. Special Cargo has been up and running for some time. You buy a warehouse, then purchase illicit goods you sell on for profit. Vehicle Cargo is their new offering. You purchase a vehicle warehouse, then Securo Serve puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Once you've sourced the cars, you warehouse them and sell them onto a highly vetted customer base when you want to. Special Vehicle Works a little different. These are complex operations Securo Surf had planned and prepared for clients using state-of-the-art customized vehicles. They trust only their best performers with these tasks, so we'll need to make some headway with vehicle cargo before taking this on. Vehicle cargo. Okay, if you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Those are the orders, and that's how you're going to get it done. End of discussion. <laughs>